All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started because I know y'all got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Everybody's time is valuable. I'm not going to hold you an hour or anything like that. Unless my data wants me to. Okay, Just real quick, before I start, I, I, I don't know if I, I know a lot of you in here. I don't know everybody. But just to tell you a little bit about myself, my name's Daniel Sigler. I started teaching here 11 years ago. It's 11 years ago. I my first two years here. Um, then I went to the Santa Mill for two years, and then I was again at the high school for six. And then I'm in my first year up here at Douglas High School as a Um There's not a whole lot of people left over from when I was here the first time, but I got to be very close to people in here. I know Keith and uh, April and Julie. And then, do y'all know Matt Towns up here? This friendly guy. This, he student taught under me in Kansas City. Oh, that's what's wrong with it. If he's a horrible teacher, that's fine. Okay. Now we know. But anyway, if you just understood, and Keith can back me on this one for sure, how I used to be 11 years ago, and how in, in like, me, for, them, for me not to be in prison when I was teaching here, and for me to be doing this is just crazy. Anyway. Alright, so basically, we're just going to do Google Classroom. I'm going to. I've got some stuff I'm going to show you. It's a very valuable tool for, for a lot of for, for classroom teachers, for administrators. There's a lot you can do with it, and it's very valuable. So I'm just going to make this short and sweet. I've got some stuff prepared. I'm going to try to go through it quick so we don't have to be here. But, so first thing I need you to do is sign in on Google with your school email. If you've already done that, that's fine. And I'm just going to take it from ground up and just show you everything. And if you at any point got any questions, just ask me. It's more interactive. I want to show you some stuff. Ask some questions if you got them. We'll go for it. So, so I'm going to create, the first thing I'm going to do is create one. So I'm going to go here to apps, go to classroom. Right. And then to create a classroom, I'm going to go here to plus sign. It says create a video. And create it. And I'm just going to call this uh, EMS training. Okay, so once I create this, this is my classroom. So now, the next thing you'll need to do is add the students. And so I need students in my class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to students. And the easiest way for me to do this is to use a class code. And what it'll do is it'll give you a class code when you get to this point. And I'm going to write that class code here. It's A, eight, O, C, C, I. That right there. So what you'll do is you'll go, when you go, to, you'll need to go to classroom. I'm going to back up. Okay. Go to this plus and you'll go to join class. And when this box comes up, you enter in that code. If you put that code in, you will be in my class. So do that now. Where is the class code? So while you're doing that, keep in mind, once you join the class, you're going to be in on the student view. My view will be the teacher view. Yeah, go to the plus sign up here. Plus sign. A-O-C-C-O? Yeah, A-O-C-C-O. Letter of CCI. Letter of not Alright, that's what I was doing. You can see the number going up as people join. Oh, by the way, this is Stacey Wissman. She's a new teacher. She took the list landers spot in the hospitals. If you don't know her, Stacey Wissman, she's here at New York Question. Got the Okay, so once, okay, so on the teacher end, um, so this is my class I've created, I'm going to click here, I'll come here to students, and it will have my students here, everybody that's joined. So if you, now, now understand, the stuff I'm showing you today, this is going to be really difficult to do right now with the year ending. This is something that's going to be really good for next year. This is something, you know, and I'll explain this as we go on, but if you're going to do a good classroom, it's best to use it 
often, you know, at least once a week. Having a Google Classroom doesn't do you very much good if you create it and, and you don't do anything to it for months at a time. It, it's, a, it's a tool that you can use. You really got to use it and make the kids use it. And I'll, and I'll explain that as we go on. So, but here's my list of students, which is y'all. And I'm going to go back to string here. And so the first thing I want to do, like, so when you create your class, you can kind of put the, you know, the specifics for your class. So like, I taught history and government and economics and juniors and seniors. So if, if I was doing this for a group of students, I'd put my room number here, and I would put, uh, you know, obviously this is the economics or whatever, and I would put, you know, this is the Google Classroom for economics, put the room number, and then here where class materials is, I would add the syllabus or whatever, whatever course documents they'll need throughout the year, I would put there. So what I'm going to do here, I'll tell you what, it, it doesn't matter, I can do it on both. I've already got some stuff prepared, so what I'm going to do here is I'm in my drive, and I don't know if y'all used to drive and all that stuff, so all this kind of syncs up. Um, <coughs> Okay, so here it is, our agenda that I made. So I'm going to add the agenda to this page here. And so if this was a course that a student was taking, they can go to the class and go to the about and the agenda or the syllabus is there. So what I'm going to do here is go to the front page and I'm going to post that same agenda here. So, and this will lead us into what we're going to do next. But uh, I'm going to go here to plus, I'm going to go to create announcement, and I'll go back to this. And I'm going to upload our agenda. So if you go to your stream, you'll see the agenda. And if you click there, it'll take the docs. And I've got everything that we will be going over. Okay. Now, so I'm gonna have to refresh. Questions? We're on this. My kids have had to refresh. Yeah. Yeah, and you you may have to. Um, if you post something, it's always you know if you post anything to it, it's always best to tell them refresh. So. All right. So the agenda's here. So if you're a student, you go here. You see the agenda. Obviously, you click on that, it takes the dog, and you can read what's going on. So, the next thing I want to talk about is what, like, how do you use this? What, what's the point? Okay. So, down here is a plus sign. All right, you see create announcement, create assignment, create question, and reuse post. So, when I use this, so right now, with the teacher at the high school, we use it for lesson, I use it for lesson. And so, once we, and I'll, and I'll show you what it looks like. So, this is the one for Douglas High School. And what I do, I did this today actually, go to for this, I created an assignment. But what I do is I put um, you know, lesson plans, what, what it is for the week. And normally I attach a video to this, a funny video for them, it's about a minute long, they usually like that. But once these are turned in, and I just posted this today, so my advice turned in yet, but one, and we'll get to this too. But I can come here to done, and I can see who has turned them in, and the assignments are here on the side, which are the lesson plans. And then I can scroll down and see, um, see who hasn't done it as well. I mean, some here have not done it. Yeah, but of course, I was supposed to today, so now everybody's got to do But anyway, go back to the train. All right, so here, um, create an announcement. It's pretty simple. If you have an announcement for the class, put it on there. Um, if you want to share, now all this also syncs to your computer. If you've got a file you want to share with them, you know, you can put that on here. Uh, if you got stuff in the drive, you can share it with them. This right here is for YouTube. So if you've got a YouTube link, you can put it in there and the video will attach, kind of like what I just showed you. Or if you got a website you want to go to, you can put the link there. Okay. Now, but that's some of stuff. So, the first thing I want to do, you know, like, Get some utility out of it. So I'm going to post an assignment, and I'm going to allow you to do it, and I'm going to show you how it all works. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, create an assignment. I'm going to title it Training Assignment. I learned when I was in sixth grade, 
teach in sixth grade, never to abbreviate on the board, never abbreviate assignment ASS. <laughs> so I'll put T. Uh, yeah. So when you do an assignment, the due date, um, I'm going to put it for today, is this, it's very simple. And then I've done it my docs, so I'm going to go here, it's already got prepared. This is it, I'm going to add it. Now, now, before you do this, so there's options you can use. I want y'all to be able to edit, edit it from docs to be able to turn it in. So I'm going to assign it. And this is post. So on yours, you need refresh, put refresh. This is my end, what it looks like. And this is the assignment. So go to that assignment real quick. Below, write one sentence describing your feelings regarding my beard. Be honest. So I want you to put one sentence. Is there a way to avoid this being a free for all? Yes, I see what I, I know what I did. Uh, let me go back real quick. I'm going to X this out. So what I'm going to do? Wow. Let me do this again. So I'm going to Does anybody need ISS? Is that yeah. Yeah. Here's what I should have done. Make a copy for each student. Because yeah. when I did the edit, it just was a, it wasn't good. But on this one, you'll have your individual copies. The goal is you do the assignment by yourself and you turn it into me. So go to attempt two. And what I want you to do is I want you to go on there, put the sentence, and then I want you to turn that Google Doc in as the assignment. And it should say turn in on your end. Let's go back to the 
save it because if not they're going to send you that email and then you're going to have to open it up from your email and look at it and it like where it says 13 are done and six are not like on some of my classes this week some of my kids that say not done i have an email because they don't know how to copy and save because i'm just now trying this myself yeah. i don't know how to open it like he did straight into google box so that all you got to do once you've done the editing because see we could just type on it but see we had to go in and change the google docs and so that's yeah. I'm doing an extra step. Some, but can some, I, on the student side, can you like when we can see the doc? Okay, I put in discussion questions, and when they answered it, the kids could see each other's yes, responses. They, they yeah, did that's that what I did. The first thing you got to go to the same as the file, so they'll each have their own individual file instead of a, instead of just the candidate where everybody's on it. And okay. And my email was blowing up on their conversation. So see, that's something I've got to figure out how to get away from. And I'll say this too, and, and you mentioned this, so I'm going to say this. So in my experiences with this, I would recommend doing it in Docs instead of Word. And if it's in Word, go ahead and convert it to Docs because what's going to happen is you're going to have some kids doing assignment elsewhere, and they're not going to have Word on the computer, and they're not going to be able to do it. But if it's Docs, you're going to be able to do it. That's just something I learned. Um, so right here, so once these are submitted, I go to Done, and I can... Uh, See who all turned it in. And then I can click here. This is the bill. And then whatever it says, you know, I can go here and submit the grade. Okay. All those comments were already online. I just had 
Yeah, yeah that's from that's from Wix and Oak. Okay. That's not. That's not. So, so you, here, you can say that when you put it up there, the kids couldn't say the other names of the submissions. No, they would only see their They can only see. When you? They only see theirs. What is that? I can see everybody's. Now, see, if I'd done a copy of the file first, it wouldn't have all the free for all. Does that make sense? So then I can, you know, whatever's turned in, I go here, and then I can enter grades here, you know, whatever, whatever the grades are, and then you'll have that running list. Now, grades. can you merge that into email for us? That is not possible. <laughs> so, um, in my experiences, the best way to do this is to just grade them all on here, and then you'll have a running list of everybody's <coughs> and then just put them in a grade. I always kept a hard copy grade book because I was always worried about how you print that? That grade book? I don't know. But on here, I'm not sure. Okay. So what, I, what you can do is, like, once you have several assignments, you can click on the student, and then it'll, let me see if it'll work. Yeah, and so like you'll have a list of all their assignments they've done and the grades. And so once you get an assignment graded, I would always hard copy it in and then put it in the eye mail because I'd have that rubber and just go there. Yes. Yeah. It'd be nice though if you could print it in this kit. It would be. But uh, this is not how it is. You see that? Well, you know, why don't you work on that for us, James? <laughs> you can't do a screenshot in you want that? Do a screenshot. You could, yeah. There's a way. I have to look at it. I saw a lot. Um, but yeah, so that's any questions about assigning something and then grade. You know, obviously we have one sentence, but if you, what I would, do, what I did is I had you know, all my assignments already typed up, and so it's it's fairly simple to just import it in, convert them to docs, and just have them ready to go. So if you need help with that, I'll be more than glad to help. Alright, now, the next thing I wanted to show you is, and it kind of ties into something else, the tests. Alright, has anybody here used Google Forms? Has anybody heard of you use Google Forms? You do tests on there? I did one. I don't know if I don't have access to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I mean, I know that the county uses Google Forms for different things, but Google Forms, all last year, I tested on Google Forms, and it was the greatest thing I've ever done. It, now, it takes a while to enter it in, because you got to type it in. But once it's in, it's saved and it's there. And it just makes your life so much easier. Kids will come, they need to make up a test. Well, here's the link. I just sent it to you. Go take it. Right, and I'm going to show you kind of what I'm talking about right now. So. Now the whole now on forms, forms is a completely different thing, and it, it's kind of its own training, and I can do that, that's not a problem. But I've already got one made. I just need to find it. So what I want to do is, okay, so here's forms, and I've already made this. I'm going to copy the link here. So I'm going to do now is go back to training. And I'm going to create an announcement. I'll come here to the link. I'm going to paste that link here. And I'm going to post. And make sure it goes to it. Okay, so, so what I've got now there is a post. So this will be my test. This link will take you to the test. So go to the test. So I made this test up. When I was growing up, I used to watch wrestling all the time. It got me a lot of hot women doing that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, i got a five question wrestling quiz. And I want you to take it. And I'm going to show you, and, and the point of this is, you're going to take a test, and I'm going to show you how it grades and how all that works. Don't, don't cheat. This test is exciting, I know, you gotta call it. Okay. Okay, so you have 
take all female notifications. <laughs> so that might be the route to go. Okay, also, one more thing I want to show you. Alright, so bear with me. So I'm going to go to students here. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to that. Okay, so you have your Google Drive folder, and this is specific to your classroom page. So I'm going to click here. Okay, so everybody's got their own way to do stuff. This is how I do it. You don't want to do it this way, that's fine. So when I taught economics in government, I'd have chapters. So like chapter one, economics, chapter two, and so on. In each chapter, I had PowerPoint lecture notes. I had assignments. I had like definitions I wanted them to do. So what I did, and I'll show you now. So I'm going to go. I'm going to. This is my classroom specific page for this class. So I'm going to go to uh, new folder. I'm sorry, my my drive. Okay, so on here, it's not showing up. Okay, so what I did before I left my office is I had a chapter one economics folder with everything in it, and I put it on drives. So the gist of this is, I would have a, a folder here that said Chapter 1 Economics, and within that folder, I would have all my assignments, test study guide, everything I wanted to have access to, and I would go here to, uh, yeah, I would go in here and I would add that folder in here, so that way the students could go to that class page and they'd have access to it. For some reason it's not showing up, I guess it didn't finish it up, but Anyway, so what, if you're a student, you can go in here and you can see uh, whatever the teacher's got to post. So let me do it. Do I have any questions? I mean, any questions about drive? And if you kind of want to see, now I wish there's other, you can use it for other things. You don't have to use it for just a class. So this year, I did an economics, uh, well, I did an economics competition with some seniors. There's a, there's a state economics tournament every year. So I got 12 seniors together. Actually I had 12 and then a group of four didn't make it so I took them out and so had eight. <coughs> eight that qualified for the state tournament. And I used this page to uh, communicate with them on the stuff we need to know for the tournament. So like uh, you can see here, here was the, the link to the, like the information link for the competition. This is a practice test that I gave them. Uh, this was just information they needed for UAB for the tournament. Here was the schedule. I loaded up the schedules on here so they knew exactly what to expect you know, at UAB. And there was a website that had, this is a Quizlet website, but it had like a lot of economics terms. And it was really, really easy for me to put uh, for me to communicate with them and say, I don't have a class. So by this, I can communicate with them whenever I needed to. If I need to, if, you know, if, I'm, if I'm on the run or something and need to get in touch with them, I can go to students. Uh, I can go to uh, click on a student or more and just send them an email. It was very easy for me to, to get information. And with this tournament, it was kind of thrown together at the last minute. And it was just so simple for me to get information out to them and then for them to email me back. It was great. So if you've got like a club or like student government association or something like that, I know Asbury uses it for their senior class. The senior class has every senior in a classroom. The administrators and teachers and counselors have access to that. They can post messages to the seniors. I know the seniors need more messages, you know. So, and that's just something, that's something that we're going to try to do next year at the high school or something like that. Um, you know, and you can use that here too. Be good for, for sports, basketball, whatever. Get the stuff out. So you just copy and pasted the links, like to the Quizlet. Yeah, yeah. So I just went. Yeah, I just went to post. I created an announcement and just went here and pasted that link right there. And it was so easy. It was so easy. Um, and I had some. 
for that competition, I had some practice tests that I stole some practice tests from the, well, I stole the actual test from the tournament the year before. I stole it, then they said we could keep it, so I don't know what the, anyway. But uh, I was going to scan them in and put them on here, I just didn't have time to do it. But if, I, but if I'm going, if I'm gonna, my goal is to go back on here into the about, and then in here have a folder that says practice test, and have all the tests, so that way, you know, on the bus ride down or whatever, or in the free time, they can take those tests, pull them up, you know, online, on the phone or whatever, and then take them and we can go over them. So, um, and also, I don't have my phone with me, but it's, New Classroom has a really good app. Have y'all used that for your students at all? Phone app? No. So, and I don't know how y'all are on cell phones, but in my experience, <coughs> If you show them how to use the app, if you learn how to use it yourself and you train them on how to use the app, it makes stuff easier. And, and they'll use it. They'll do stuff from home on it. I, I've learned that. So, and it was last year when I taught, I, I had like, I made myself more accessible. I gave them my school email and linked it to my phone. And I would get emails, not that I was up, but I'd get emails at like 11.30, 12.30 at night. So when I woke up the next morning, I was able to respond back so they knew what was going on and what to do. And through the app, they were able to turn in work. Like one thing I let them do, and this might be something you want to do, it might not be something you want to do, but it's like an essay or something. And they're at home, they don't have a computer. They can pull it up on their phone, they can write it on paper, and I would let kids take a picture of it and submit the picture as the assignment. And that's just something that we kind of... As I did trial and error, it's something that worked for me. It may work for you, may not, but it's just another idea that you can possibly use. So, but anyway, with that said, um, I mean, I've covered about all that I've got up here. Again, if you want to see the lesson plans that I do with our guys, one thing I like about this, I go all the way back to where we started. You know, and I get you know all the lesson plans that I need to get, like Miss Hammer. I go for math lesson plans and pull those up, and there's just no question on what was done. So and it makes it simple on our end. Yes. Okay. If you go through and set up one class with everything, and you're teaching that same class with a different group of kids, yes. Is there a way to copy? That yeah. What you do? So you don't have to upload it every time. I think I just canceled that. So, what you would do, you'd have to create another class. Right. You would probably have to upload the initial stuff, like the class documents and all that, but on like the post. So, what you would do, you go here and you go to reuse post, and you can go to whatever class. Like, so if you've got like first, second, third, fourth period, you go find that period. And you find your post, and you can just reuse that post. And it'll post it within the classroom. And post it to that classroom. Okay. So if you, get, if you teach English all day, you do it first. At the end of the day, you just go in there and copy it to other classes. Okay. But as far as like initially, you'll have to make the class. And you'll probably have to put like your intro documents in there. Okay. Possibly uploading that in the folders, but not sure. <coughs> Any other questions? Uh, my email is sigler.daniel. If you need to email me, anything I can help you with, let me know. And I'll do whatever I can for so, you. No question. This is something next year, I can tell you this on the high school end, next year we're going to, I'm going to be in charge of this. We're going to require that all of our teachers have some kind of LMS learning management system. I'm going to recommend Google Classroom, but I'm going to support whatever they want to do. But, but this is something, so like when you say, yeah, I teach, but this is, here's my stuff right here. Parents can get on this and see what's going on. It just makes it really, it makes it transparent. You know, there's not as much question about what you're doing because your stuff's on there. It's easy to access. And so we're going to have our teachers next year have something like this and use it at least once a week. So that way, because here's the thing, if you use it, if you create it in January and use it for a week and don't use it anymore, what's the point? You know, but if you if you put updates on there and, you, and you're constantly keeping it fresh and new and, and it gets the kid, the kids like this. They do. They, 
because they like this stuff. You know, technology is the way it's going. So we got we kind of got to adjust. It. I guess we don't need to get stale, and this helps us. If you have any questions for me, just let me know if you do, and I'll help you all. Many are my favorite. I don't know. I have to check. Um, I don't think they do. Um, I know that. I know our technology, Ms. Cochran, what the technology does. There's some other teachers I don't know exactly. They just think they're um, next, But I will say this the next year, when the teachers do have their, their pages, um, what they can do, they're going to invite me. I'm going to be in like every one. So that way I can go to it and see what's going on. You can invite like teachers to be like co teachers or view only people, where they can just kind of see what's going on. Just to have that extra level of transparency. Anything else? All right, well, I'll wrap it up early. I hope you all have a good day. And appreciate you having me.